If you're like me, one of the first things that you look for after you get your new smartphone, aside from a case to put it in, is a screen protector to use with it. Granted, most smartphones nowadays have very good screens and they don't scratch or break very easily. However, if you want to add an extra layer of protection to that smartphone and investment that you just made, a screen protector is the way to go. Hello, I am Wanderer001 and this is my review of the Zag InvisiShield Glass Elite Plus for the Google Pixel 4a 5G. I know that sounds like a mouthful, but you are here because you are looking for a screen protector to protect your investment of your new smartphone. You are also here because you probably started down the rabbit hole of glass screen protectors and why they're better or not better than the plastic ones that you can just slap onto your phone. I will say this is not my first glass screen protector. I've done two others, one from Zag on my Pixel 2, review over there in the corner, and then another one which I'm just gonna say was an off-brand for my wife's phone, and we're just gonna say that was not the greatest, and we're not even really gonna touch on it. Actually, what I'm going to touch on is I'm going to say not all glass screen protectors are treated equal. Here's an example of my Pixel 2 Zag Shield versus that other screen protector that I'm not mentioning. Example of not all glass screen protectors are treated equal. This one was put on much sooner than the one on the left here. This is my Pixel 2. So I've had this on here for three years and you can see, aside from just needing to be wiped down a little more, it's just a little greasy. This on my wife's has not quite been three years on here, but you could see it is much worse for wear. Again, Pixel 2, which is an Invisishield versus a random glass screen protector. One of the problems with screen protectors is they're just not very photogenic to actually do video reviews of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the box and then come back to our screen protector here. Now, yes, this box was ripped in half by a small child, but we're gonna use this as an example. So here we go, Zag Shield, strongest glass screen protector ever, and I can attest, as you saw, scratches on the one I had on my Pixel 2, nothing compared to that other one. And then the 99% uh, keeps viruses and bacteria off your phone. But we can flip that around and you can kind of see a little better. And since we have half of this anyway, we're just gonna put this over here. Four times extreme shatter protection, meaning you can smack it with a hammer, you can scratch it, you don't have any problems. Clean, smudge-free screen. Well, anything that you use is going to smudge. However, unlike the plastic ones where you really have to work on it, this one, you can just wipe, wipe via your shoulder or a thing and you're good to go. Maximum scratch prevention, you saw that in the comparison. Smooth, silky feel. I am going to say, once you have a glass screen protector and just the feeling of the swiping on it, you will never go back to a regular plastic one that you slap on there. There are also different levels of glass screen protectors and the smoothness that you get. Zag Shield, I will say, by far the best I've done. And then the easy application, and then over there, you've got your kills 99% most common surface bacteria. So that's a big one right there. And then kind of a breakdown of the screen protector. The easy application. I will admit as far as screen protectors go, this is one of the better ones that I've done. It is not without its fault. And I guess that's a good way to say, let's segue into actually showing how putting this screen protector on is different than others. All right, so this is what you get in the box for the Invisi Shield Glass Elite Plus for the Pixel 4a 5G. And just kind of throw that over there, show you presentation-wise, I guess, because this is really just a screen protector, so it's hard to really show off. So you've got a application tray and some paperwork. Well, a little warranty in there too. So we've got a packet application stuff. So we've got a cloth, alcohol wipe, and a dust sticker. So that's good. And then over in this pack is going to be the actual screen protector that's going to go onto our phone. Going to stage the area first. I'm going to use a case to kind of lift up the uh, phone there since, you know, 
camera bump is pretty substantial. And then we're gonna kind of pull all of our accoutrement out. So step one, aside from that sticking out in the corner over there, is I'm gonna give it a good quick rub down with the cloth here. Make sure that there are no smudges because smudges are the bane of the existence of when you are applying screen protectors because those smudges will attract dirt as well as prevent the adhesive from latching on there. Now, the phone is still reasonably new, so I don't have a lot of work to do, but I am going to use the included applicator here, or the uh, alcohol wipe, as I throw it all over the place, just to be extra cautious. Now this one is definitely wet in comparison to the other screen protector from Invisishield that I had, where it felt very dry. This is, this is clearly wet. You can see there's wetness on the screen and it's definitely alcohol. So we're gonna take our cloth again and we're gonna dry that. And I know it doesn't make for great recording, but these are the steps that you're gonna need to go through if you do this yourself. And we're gonna wait one second because we're gonna take out our glass screen protector over here and kind of have it getting ready on the side because we're gonna have that situated. Now, with this particular glass, it does have a punch hole for the camera. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get situated very shortly with our guide, but we're gonna take our sticker here and we're just gonna hit this screen with it really quick because just existing in a room that you're in, breathing, can produce dust. And we don't want that on here. So that looks pretty good right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip that over. We're gonna throw our guide on there really quick. And we're gonna bring our shield over. It says we're gonna peel this top layer first. So that's what we're gonna do. Peel the top layer. Remember, this has the hole punch on it. So without touching the screen, we're very quickly gonna move down and we're gonna use this guide. Now I'm not a fan of guides normally, but I'm gonna give this a shot. And you push down in the middle and then you work your way to the edges. Now, InvisiShield says that it does bubble-free application. And when I did this last time with my other phone, it was fairly accurate, actually. It was as bubble-free as I could get it. Now, this one did not actually come with a card to work out any of these possible bubbles. I say possible because I had problems last time, which I thought were bubbles, and they didn't actually end up being bubbles, but rather they were just things in the top layer. So what we're gonna do is we are going to actually get, you know, from another product, and we're gonna fold this over and kinda work out any possible bubbles that there could be. And we're just gonna give that a good rub. And yeah, I know that sounds great, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna take this piece of card, fold it over that way a little bit so I can kinda push. And we're gonna take it off of that all around the edges to make sure that it adheres. Cause that's the other thing with this particular screen protector is that it is a full adhering screen protector. So it's not just adhering to the edges, it adheres to the entire foam thing to try and work out these bubbles. So I'm kind of hoping that these bubbles are on the top and not on the actual glass layer underneath. Well, I hate to say it, but, so the only way to know for sure is to peel this off and find out. Oh, Zag, what did you do? 
you've got bubbles, your bubble free application last time. All right, so we're just gonna rub some of those down a little bit. So there you saw the end product had some bubblage and it's one thing I don't quite understand with the newer versions of the InvisiShield because I have another one coming for my Pixel 5 uh, that I'm working on and both of them had that bubbling at the end which I really had to kind of rub to get those out. There's no card in there to kind of you know, push them out yourself. You really just have to rub. And I did not have that problem with the ones on my original Pixel 2. So it might be a transition that they've made with the InvisiShield. I don't know for sure. But what I can say, as you can see now, it's been several weeks and even a week after all the bubbles did dissipate. That is a plus. The primary difference here with this InvisiShield versus the one I had for my Pixel 2 is you will notice in the upper left hand corner, there is a cutout right there for your camera. So that's actually an extra layer of manipulation that you're gonna have to deal with with the guide bars that you saw me using. Another thing with glass screen protectors and most screen protectors, glass in particular, let's see if I can get that to focus in. There we go, you can see right up here, because it raised, has a raised lip, it does collect dust. I'm not saying that that's a deal breaker, but just know that a glass screen protector will have a certain amount of dust that it will kind of trap around the edges. And that's another thing with the cutout around the camera bump there, you will collect dust there as well. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about having the cutout because the glass screen protector I used last time didn't have a cutout and the picture quality was just fine. With your glass screen protector in particular, you may have heard of an effect called rainbowing. And I will say that, yes, glass screen protectors do have that. And here's a comparison of the phone off compared to the Pixel 2, which is an older version of this particular screen protector and the new one, so you can see the rainbowing effect. Example of the differencing with the rainbowing effect on the Pixel 2, which is a much older screen protector, and the newer on the Pixel 4 5G. You can kind of see there is still some rainbowing, but it is not as pronounced as it was on the older screen protector. And the only time that it even becomes kind of pronounced or noticeable is on very white screens and you really have to like angle the phone. Now that rainbowing effect was only really pronounced in direct sunlight at a particular angle. Here you can see I'm not getting any rainbowing whatsoever. Another thing that you might have come across in your research of tempered glass screen protectors, is that some fully adhere to the face of the screen, while others only do around the edges. Kind of like the OtterBox Defender case, you've got a pocket of air in the middle. I don't like those types. This one fully, fully adheres to the foam, but that also leaves you the possibility of those air bubbles and having to work them out. A small, small thing to consider, but again, Seeing as how this is not my first InvisiShield, I know the quality that I'm getting and for those little headaches and having to work out the bubbles, I'll deal with it adhering to the full screen because I want it to be on the full screen. That's where you're gonna get your optimal protection. If there's a gap, even a little bit, you run the risk of the screen protector shattering itself. Yes, it will protect your phone, but that little pocket of air leaves open an opportunity for breakage. You may notice that the screen protector does not come all the way to the edge of the phone. That is perfectly fine because this gives you the ability to put a case on your phone. I will admit that it is a little tricky lining things up even with the guide that came with it because of that punch out. So just know it's not going to come all the way to the edge because you want to be able to put a case on your phone and those lining up of everything is gonna be a little tricky. So as you might have guessed, I really like the Zag InvisiShield Elite Plus for the Google Pixel 4a 5G. How much is that worth to you? Well, in this case, it is $40. And when I did my first review, way back when for the Pixel 2, I said $35 to $30. I will change my mind on that. $40 for this screen protector, it, it's like a no-brainer. Save yourself the heart, the heartache of breaking your screen with something like this. The fact that it's so smooth to the touch, it feels just like the regular screen underneath. Uh, you saw the scratches that I had on that compared to the other glass screen protector I had, 
leaps and bounds. $40, especially if you're gonna hold on to your phone three plus years, it's a no brainer. If you haven't gotten the idea, solid buy for the InvisiShield Elite Plus. I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider giving it a like as that will help other people find the video as well. If you like what I'm doing here, you can always help fuel the next review by buying me a coffee, link in the description below. Last but not least, if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, you know what to do.